This is a s'mores. Be unemployed. Be a bomb. When it comes to spending time off. been vlogging y'all because <sighs> as y'all know I came out of the hospital immediately within 12 hours we're on a road trip but you know what welcome to the mini vlog <laughs> um we are in Philadelphia with the family eight of us hey, hey no touching hair hey Imani it's okay you just say please don't touch my hair all right so yeah when you're with toddlers and you with your siblings and your family your family your parents it can go it can go one way or the other hey did you hear him anyways right now we're about to have some breakfast some brekkie at our favorite philadelphia spot sabrina's cafe and we are waiting on the list the wait list so I will show you guys the food and everything once it's here. Say hi to baby unicorn. Um, Marcos, come say hi. Say hi vlog. Hi. 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 Alright. <laughs> guys, follow me. Okay guys, say hello to the vlog. Hello vlog. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so the family, I don't know where everyone else is at. Everybody want what you want. <laughs> I know that's right. I am a trendsetter because how many Peach Arnolds do you see? Okay. Uno, dos, tres. You do better. Catch the details. Catch the details, y'all. I see that. Period. Mac and cheese. We got the Benedict with turkey bacon. Side of fruit. The Oreo French toast. It's a Korean chicken sandwich. Korean chicken sandwich. Kids scrambled eggs. Kids French toast. What is this, Maria? Um, That is buttermilk pancakes with cinnamon and sugar on top with slices of strawberry and banana. <laughs> <laughs> the full details. Got it. Details, yes. Me and her got the same thing. Banana eggs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jonathan got the same sandwich. The Korean sandwich. How is it? Bomb. Dad, you have an omelet, California omelet. And then mom has the shrimp and grits. Mom, what do you think? Correction, y'all. This is a s'mores French toast, not Oreo. Gremlins that I call my siblings. The gremlins that I call my siblings. Here. It is too hot. 
and my parents are out here just shopping. And they got us babysitting. What is this? Okay. They have Bobby's department store. Cross the street, go to another Bobby's department store. What is this? for me okay Online presence. Yes, sorry. You just gotta jump into it. You don't warm up to it. And then you go like this. Twirl around your arms up in the sky. Yeah. Go nanny. Go nanny. No, you gotta move your hands like this. Go. Yeah, like a dance. So we are in the streets of Philadelphia. And you know what? These eye masks, they're just gonna have to stay on as a fashion statement. <laughs> um, I didn't have time to put concealer on. So I wanna conceal my under eye bags after we do our little shopping. So right now we're on Market Street and they have a whole bunch of stores like Ulta. Sephora. They also got like Primark, TJ Maxx, and all that stuff. So we split up. Some of us are going to be walking with the kids, get them exhausted. And the elders. <laughs> Is that a bug that touched me? <laughs> oh my god, not my parents watching me freak out. Today's our last day of this family trip. Let's see what today brings. I love being in a new city. Something about out of air town just feels right. Huh? Uh huh? <laughs> you say it so good, Mama. Marcos, how do you say my name? Funny. Huh? Funny. What about the S? They have a few left. Oh my god, not the ones that I want though, of course. Oh, browned out. Extra thigh. You can't even swatch this. This is their new perfecting foundation. Woo pretty pity, a pretty penny. Watch 23 right here. Y'all can't even tell that I swatched anything. That's a good shade match. I can't lie. I can't lie. 
They left me, which is fine. We secured our bag. Now we're in H&M. Let's see if we can find a cute thing or two. I sit 90 degrees underneath palm trees. Smoking BDs as I burn my calories. Just not understanding. If you don't want to fucking work. Secured the bag. Thank God we're out of here. Because people don't like to work. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. I don't understand. Because really. See? Do I have something still attached to my thing? Can you hold this for me? Okay. No, like the, the tag. If I still have a tag on here, I'm going to be trying. Yeah, y'all. Like I was trying to say, the lady had a whole attitude at the cash register. And it's like, if you don't want to work, don't work. Honey, go home. Be unemployed. Be a bum. Don't give an attitude to a paying customer. And then second of all, I asked if they have the rewards, which I know you do, which you should be presenting. Then she want to cop an attitude like, yeah. I had to be quiet. I really had to be quiet and not say shit. Because I knew I was gonna cop an attitude. Then she asked her employer if she can borrow her phone or something to scan the reward. She wanna drop the phone on the counter so I can put my information. It's just very not demure. Very like this is king. Anyways, y'all, we just copped two things and I am all shopped out. I could not find any jeans. Like if you guys have any jean spots for petite short girls, please let me know because it's been a struggle. But we got some fall things and I'm really happy. And yeah, we are out of here. What is it? The braids? We me no more. Okay. He's not here? because I am a good person and it's my karma or if it's just like pretty girl privilege <laughs> anyways I will vlog later y'all phone is literally dying okay and we're trying to find everyone else yeah I do I'm doing a cheesesteak with onion pepper mushroom and Muriel is doing that's fire they got all these people
Charles? <laughs> that's right. I'm making everybody a content creator. I know that's right. These are the ones that I wanted. And they got a whole food area, bro. Okay. Oh, hey, dog out here, y'all. So excited. If you know, you know. Uh, so right now we're about to try Pac's noodle. And look at all the drinks they got. Fermented rice punch. That's interesting. If you want to, you can, of course. I know I'm gonna do this because they have a band-aid. That's right. Alarms, notification, the endless scrolling. The world is literally demanding for our attention, and honestly, I'm sick of it. <laughs> I always go through a phase where I spend time offline completely off social media or minimize my time on my phone or any of that even blogging as you can see when it comes to spending time offline i am one of the biggest advocates for this just because of how much clarity how much growth you can get from this real clarity does not come from the external noise turn that all off silence it all now recently i had the realization that i just was not really satisfied with my routine something was missing reassess my life reassess what i'm doing reassess where i want to go my current routine my habits they were just not doing it for me they were no longer serving me and honestly i have new goals now i had to look at the areas in my life that needed change and it's not until you disconnect 
and unplug yourself that you can actually reconnect with who you are and who you want to become. I had a spark of inspiration from a video that I will post on the screen where he posted his results from the 75 hard and why not? I haven't really been happy with my fitness. I haven't been happy with my body. I haven't been happy with the way I've been eating. It's been big bag activity for way too long. <laughs> and when you lose discipline in one area, it can leak into other areas. And so why not join the challenge? Why not try to see what I'm capable of? Why not push myself to my limits, put myself in uncomfortable positions? I want to see change. I want to see growth. So I feel like this would be the perfect way for me to start a new chapter. I will talk more about my 75 hard in the next vlog, but at least you kind of get a gist of where I'm at, where I'm at mentally in this vlog. We spent time offline with family, friends, and reminding ourselves that life is good. <laughs> you know, we don't have to prove anything. We don't have to do much. We are blessed. We are rich with love and blessings. But let this be a reminder to take some time offline and to focus on you, focus on yourself. And honestly, the ultimate luxury will always be being offline. Reclaim your time, reclaim your thoughts in the world that is constantly trying to pull you away. Pour into you, babe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Because like, I'm tired of being fat like I told you. <laughs>